Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for October 5th, 2020. You know, as I say that, I remember when it was January and some of them felt like could be a little, you know, wrong going on in the world. <laughs> but I don't know if I ever shared this with you guys just here in the beginning. Um, when January hit, I felt this sudden need to go out and explore the city. Just go out all over Colorado Springs, go to the boutiques. Uh, I went to restaurants for brunch. I love brunch, but I don't love crowds. I actually faced the crowds. And actually, it was lovely. Met some lovely people. But, you know, just felt the need to go out. I was shopping for people's birthday gifts when their birthdays weren't even until May. I just felt like I had to do that. And here we are in October. That's all I'm saying. All right. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to my website, angelsouls444.com. I have my courses over at gumroad.com slash angelsouls. Thank you so much to everyone who supports me on Patreon. You do really make a difference and I appreciate it so, so, so very much. So let's get on to the auto right here. It says there, excuse me, these are times the ego will be tested. People will harm out of their sense of a right to do so. So this, you know, validation, this justification, it's for cause, therefore I can do whatever I want. Remember when I brought up the French Revolution? What was that a few weeks ago? And, you know, a lot of people were like, yeah, that was a huge turning point in history and all of that. And yeah, it brought about, you know, much needed change. But the way people went about it was heinous. I mean, it was heinous. Abusing children. No, you may not. Test my mama bear. Test my mama bear instincts, okay? No, we ain't doing that. But this is that kind of message where people think that they have a right to hurt someone else because they don't believe the way I do. Okay, uh, this is the ego dying, gasping for air. But we are with you. You needn't fear. There is much that will anger you, mostly when you see and understand that you have been under a spell of sorts. Some of you see it, but it is not about stories of the imagination. So a lot of people love to just make stuff up for the drama of it. And they're saying, let's not engage in that. Okay. Rather a deeper understanding of what already is. So understanding our truest nature and then things suddenly come to light, you know, and then we're like, well, and then what we realize why we didn't know that's going to anger us. Okay. Maybe not just this week. <laughs> so there's that too. Uh, of what already is, it shall make your hearts thud and masks will fall. And those that got away with so much by the sleepy potion in the air and by water and land and electricity will fall away. And yet your kind hearts will pray for their redemption. Like we're going to be a bunch of softies in the end, like can't help it. Like we see what's happened. We see who's at fault. And yet we see there's this crumpled, scared little being within them. But hang on. This is what they have to say about that. And yet your kind hearts will pray for, the, for their redemption. For you see, they were under a spell too. But alas, I love how they talk, right? But alas, let us handle this and help them to turn around. With all love, Gabriel. All right. So I think for this week... <sighs> There's a build, there's a bubbling. That's what I want to call it. Like there's something bubbling up and really, I, this is just coming up right now. There needs to be creative outlets. Okay. Again, I know that's like, what is that going to do to change the world? If you notice the people through everything that's happened this year, 
the people who have, we had this message last week, they've kind of stood back and observed but didn't get invested. And those people could kind of come together and have conversations, calm conversations about what needs to happen. Those were the people that got through. Those were the people that found a way no matter what, right? Um, And just tried to make the best of what life was handing them, if that makes sense. I wish I had perfect human terms to put all this because on one hand, you know, all of these things are happening and you're trying to stay heart centered and yet not be in denial. It's kind of what we were going into last week. Um, But we really just have to be, (laughs) I know this is cliche, but as grounded as we can be. um, And remember to enjoy your family. Now, some of you are like, oh my gosh, I had to spend so much time with my family. (laughs) I had the opposite problem. I couldn't see my family. I haven't seen them since December. And, you know, I've been going through all of this by myself. So, you know, talk about having to make the most of it. Being single during this time was not a fun gig, okay? It was not a fun thing to go through by yourself. But I know a lot of you out there can relate to that. But that's kind of what we're talking about here. Um, I know I got through and it was really hard. But I've had some lovely moments where I've just embraced watching the sunrise or the moonrise. You hear me talk about that all the time. But it's really cool. You should check it out. <laughs> if you haven't, check it out. Um, but, you know, I I bought Canvas. I think I've only bought Canvases like one other time in my life and it was a mess. Okay. But this time I actually bought some supplies and things and did things that are very useful and very beautiful. And it helped me not... Not to pretend like it's not there. I can't say that enough, but rather just kind of focus my energy, okay? Um, I'm not saying I've got the way to live, but if that's helpful to some of you out there, I will offer that. It's, It's just going to feel like things are so out of control. I mean, here in Colorado, um, we've been having one fire after another, and as I'm filming this, there, I mean, it's you can't even be outside your eyes burn. Uh, you can smell a fire and it's happening in Northern Colorado at the moment. Uh, so it's just, the smoke is just like covering the city and it's not even healthy for you to be outside. Um, but okay. So I can't be outside. I will be inside, but it's interesting that things are on fire and I want to, I feel like I need to say that here. It feels like there are things on fire. Um, tempers are flaring. When the tempers flare, our immunity goes down, you know, these sorts of things. And this is why I think a lot of people really, you know, kind of gravitate towards the inspirational (laughs) people. And that's all well and good if it helps you get through. However, you, uh, there's so many messages coming through, but be careful who, who's sort of leading you down their road under the guise of, I'll make you feel better about this. I'm sure they're not maniacally doing this, but I have nails on and I just feel like a wizard. So I just kind of want to use them to be dramatic. Uh, But, (laughs) but I think, you know, the idea here is to trust your own instincts, be centered within yourself. Try not to reach outside of you for comfort, whether, you know, if you have advice, don't beat yourself up. You can get help. We can all get help. We can all be there for one another, that sort of thing. But um, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel the tensions rising. And uh, I don't know what to say. I mean, I would encourage you to not fight with people as much as you can. (laughs) As much as you can. Don't be going down that road. But again, there's this message of be prepared, but be balanced. Be very, very level. Don't overreact. And don't be so passive as to be like, I can't handle this. I'm too sensitive. You know, it's not up to everybody else to cover for you, (laughs) right? So let's just leave that part there. Let's get onto the cards. All right. So if you like what you are seeing here, if you would be so kind as to subscribe, like the video, share the video, I really appreciate it. Let's see what we have going on here. You know what? There's going to be, because I'm hearing like sour mood. There's just sort of a sour mood in the air. And it always cracks me up when people are like, oh my God. You're just so naive, you're just full of bad news. What's the good news? 
And I, I understand that 100%. But the good news is, is that you're realizing that you can create your own happiness. That's the, uh, not the only big lesson, but one of the big lessons. Okay. So we can figure it out. Just stay flexible. That's the thing. Stay flexible. I think I just heard evacuations. But from fire or water? Both. <sighs> Fun times, I tell you. <laughs> Let's get some goodies. What do we have? Give us something good. Show us something good. Clear quartz. Get crystal clear. Get This almost felt like get real. Get real. This is... Ooh, um, wow. Getting real about a lot of things. Remember all that stuff that we learned by having our routines interrupted and we're kind of like, I don't know if I want to do this job anymore. I don't know if it's worth it. And I just had a huge wake up call, you know, and it was, it's, you know, been kind of like, okay, I need to evaluate how much time do I put into things and is it worth it anymore? And am I being called to do something else? I don't know. Right. And there's some upheaval and shakeups and all that stuff around it. And, you know, it, it's just that kind of time where there's a lot of self-evaluation and paying attention to your, your internal, um, your internal process with things, right? Have you found yourself having some not so nice thoughts, you know, kind of really wanting, just being, uh, being short tempered, being so short tempered that, uh, some of you kind of have this reaction of like, I give up, I give, I just, ugh, I give up. And yet others are like, I'm going to tear this place down. <laughs> I am done. I'm done dealing with this. I'm done listening to this. I'm done with people controlling me. I'm done. And, and it's not what you guys think. It's not just the big obvious control, the subtle controls the subtle manipulations that are so prized in our society, that is what's coming to light, okay? So, next card, Ocean Jasper, schedule yourself in. So again, just try to make the best of it and do not underestimate simple things. I got some nice fruits and vegetables I kind of got into this delivery thing, you guys. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I've been to a grocery store. It's so convenient. You just kind of tell them what you want. And they bring it. I mean, okay. I, I, some of you are like, okay, Michelle, you're like late to the game. I know, but whatever. Um, but just getting some fresh fruits and vegetables here. And they're so pretty and like fresh. And I'm like, I don't know. It just made me feel alive. It's the simple things. Okay. Also, um, some activities that you guys can be that we can all be doing, uh, be writing, be writing, journaling. Some people are not journalers. Is that a word? Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but be, be writing something down. Uh, for some of you, it's inspiration. You want to write an idea down. For some of you, it's those internal thoughts, those um, thoughts, wh whatever it is, is um, God forbid, if it's like, I feel hopeless, make sure you reach out for help. Okay, be discerning about what kind of help you're getting but reach out for help. Or if it's, you know, I, I'm feeling this way, writing out your mood. That's very important. Writing out your mood. Cool. All right. Schedule yourself in. As we said, take time for self-care. And I was going to say too, that there's a need for exercise. I know that because it's been so smoky, first we had a heat wave and then it's been so smoky out. Uh, so I haven't been hiking. And I feel it. I feel it in my body. I feel like I am a little more aggravated about things and I kind of have to reset myself. And, you know, so moving our bodies, especially if you can do so safely in nature, it's going to be a really good thing to help us get through these scary times because it, it's, you know, I don't want you to be disheartened because it is all happening for good reason. It's the old that's going away, but it's going to go oh, screeching like a harpy, okay? <laughs> like, it's, it's not going to go easily. And so we're left over here trying to contend with that. Yes? That's what we're experiencing right now. Okay. So then we have agate. Get back into balance. Mm. This is so about not getting caught up in the events. It's so about not getting caught up in the events and not getting caught up in your own 
personal events either. That person ticks me off. Well, I know <laughs> there's a lot of that going on right now because again, people are just, I've, I've never had so many issues as I've had, um, coming, coming into Mars retrograde. And then all of a sudden it was just like, checking my mic. Uh, so all of a sudden it was just like one problem after another and unfair, untrue things happening. Like it feels like injustices, uh, for some of you, it just might be super shocking. Like, wait, I have to move like what that's going to happen for some of you. Um, or being stuck, weird weather patterns. We had a time where it was record heat here in Colorado Springs. The very next day was a snowstorm. High wind, the whole bit. So, you know, these weird, this is all a part of the old way going away. But whatever is shaking up our world, schedule yourself in, make time for you, get into, let me find it again. (laughs) get back into balance. All right. Because there's just people, people are going to lose it. They're going to lose it over something. Um, I, I Iolite shift your money mindset. This is economy stuff. This is economy stuff. So this is not getting too attached to money. Now for some people you might be sitting there going, are you serious? Like I've been struggling this entire time, you know, I, this can mean a different thing for you. This could actually, for some of you, be a turnabout. See, people don't tend to take it seriously that you can manifest things. You know, you don't necessarily always have to have money to get what you need. What you actually need can just come to you. All right, so let's get on to the color card. And let's see what we have for this week. There it is. Gray, learn to scan your body. The number is 29, reduces to 11. 11 is a master number. And for people who are confused about that, we don't reduce master numbers. Okay, <laughs> it stays at 11. So what's interesting about this card, I always say this and point this out every time it comes out, is that for the longest time when I was using this deck, I was just like, I just thought it was just like a design on a card, but it's actually the hands of Buddha. I don't know if you can see that. But this this is, this is all the fragments of what's going on right now. Okay. And yet behind all the chaos, it comes together to paint the picture of peace. Each little fragment doesn't feel like that. Every little fragment is like, what's that? What's that? What's that? But when we stand back and look at the big picture, we see what it's all coming together for. So learn to scan your body, I think is saying, learn to listen to your body. So if you have an instinct about something, you know, give yourself that chance to go, go flowing towards where you're being guided. That's the thing. They're saying that a lot of people are not, they're saying a lot of people are not listening to their internal guidance. We're getting so pulled to the outside of us that we ignore that inner voice. All right. We'll get there. It's going to be all right. We just have to see the bigger picture. Okay? So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you so much love and take care.